Hey Vortex families, my name's Lindsay. And I'm Jessica, and together we serve as your children's pastors here at Vortex Church. We're so excited to welcome you guys to our online kids services today. Normally on Sundays, we have the opportunity to worship together, hear a story about Jesus together, and then talk together about how we can apply that in our week. Instead, today, you guys are gonna get to do that right from your homes with your families in your living room. So parents, please, Take these few moments, sit with your kids, and be prepared to have a good discussion afterwards. So kids, you need to pay attention and be prepared to ask your parents all those hard questions. So grab your Bibles, grab a seat, and prepare your hearts to hear a special story about Jesus. Hey families, I'm Katie. Are you excited to go on a Bible adventure? Me too, but before we go and see Emily and Shine, it's time for Prop Talk. Okay, friends, this prop talk is extra special because it's all about good plans that God has for trees. Here in this bag, I have some special surprises about trees. Okay, let's see what they are. Friends, what's this surprise? Hmm? Great guesses, it's a leaf. Hmm. I like leaves. God made trees to grow leaves. The leaves give shade for people <laughs> and animals when the sun is too hot. Let's see what other plans God has for trees. Ooh, oh, wow, whoa, look at this. What do you think it is? Do you know? If you said that it's a nest, you're right. Birds live in nests, and God made trees just right for some birds to build their nests in. Trees are a good home for lots of other animals, too. Okay, now, I think there's one more surprise in here. Let's see. Oh, uh-huh, yep. Oh, ha, this one looks really yummy. Mm, what is it, friends? Do you know? It's an apple. Some trees grow apples and we can eat them. <laughs> Lots of different trees grow good food for people and animals to eat. Wow, God does have a good plan for trees. But what's even better is that God has good plans for you and for me. Ooh, I have an idea. God made us to love him. So say, I love God and reach up, up, up as high as you can and give God a big hug. I love God. Ooh, I'm giving God a hug. <laughs> Great job, friends. Okay, here's another one. God plans for you to love yourself too. So say, I love myself and give yourself a big old bear hug. I love myself. I love myself. Oh, that's good. Now, God loves other people just as much as he loves you, and his good plan for you is to love others too. So say, I love others, and give someone in your house a thumbs up to show that you care. I love others. Give a thumbs up. <laughs> wow, God's plans are so good. And you were awesome listeners for that prop talk. All right, friends, now we're gonna learn some more on our Bible adventure. Shake your hands high in the sky, woohoo! On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. So much in the Bible for me to know on my Bible adventure. I wanna know that God is real. I wanna know how I could be his friend. I wanna know who Jesus is. I wanna find out what the Bible's all about. Hey. So many ways that I will grow on my Bible adventure. I'm going to learn my memory verse. I'm going to pray and talk to God. I'm going to sing new songs to God and keep singing the songs all week long. Oh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, la, la. On your mark, 
Get set, go on a Bible adventure. Church is a fun place we can go on a Bible adventure. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. <laughs> I was just thinking about my star friend, Shine. <laughs> Wee! Hiya, Emily. Hiya, friends. Shine, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> me too. And I have a question for you. Why did God make me? Hmm. <gasps> Let's go on a Bible adventure to find out. Friends, shake your hands high in the sky if you'll go with me. Woohoo! <laughs> friends, pretend to put on your adventure bag. I have some picture passes that will help you. <sighs> Friends, you and I will be picture pass guessers together. Here's your first clue. It helps you count the days. Hmm. Friends, which picture pass is it? Great job, friends. It's the calendar. <laughs> Catch it in your adventure bags. Here's your next clue. You can find it outside. It has leaves on it. Hmm. Friends, which one is it? I think you're right. It's the tree. <laughs> Friends, catch the tree in your adventure bags. Now for your last clue. It's something you carry with you when you have somewhere to go and something to do. Hmm. Friends, what do you think it is? I think you've got it. It's the backpack. <laughs> Catch it in your adventure bags. <gasps> Friends, count with me. One, two, three. <laughs> yep, they're all here. Let's zip our adventure bags together. Now, now it's, it's time, time to, to fly. fly. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Shine, how will we find the answer to the question, why did God make me? When we're looking for answers, the Bible is the best place to start. The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust. It's right and true. <gasps> the Dreamer. That story is from the book of Genesis in the Bible. Let's see how it will help us. <laughs> Jacob had 12 sons, but he loved his son Joseph the most. He gave Joseph a special brightly colored coat. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. They hated him. Joseph also had special dreams. In my dream, we were tying up bundles of wheat, he said, and your bundles bowed down to mine. Joseph's brothers hated him even more. Joseph had another dream. The sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowed down before me. His father and brothers grumbled. Are you saying you will rule over us? One day, Joseph's brothers were in the fields watching their sheep. They saw him coming to see them. They planned to kill him and put an end to all his dreams. It would be wrong to kill our brother, said Reuben. Let's throw him in this empty well. So they tore off Joseph's special coat and threw him into the well. Ishmaelite traders came by on their way to Egypt. Let's sell Joseph as a slave to the Ishmaelites, suggested Judah. So the brothers sold Joseph for 20 pieces of silver. The brothers dipped Joseph's coat in goat's blood and showed it to Jacob. My son is dead. He wept. Meanwhile, Joseph was taken to Egypt, but God was with Joseph. In Egypt, the Ishmaelites sold Joseph to Potiphar, one of Pharaoh's captains.
God blessed Joseph and made him successful. Potiphar put Joseph in charge of his whole household. Wow, Joseph had some strange dreams and some bad things happened to him too. But that wasn't the end of Joseph's story. His dreams came true. God had good plans for Joseph. He did? Yeah, God made Joseph a great leader. God's plans for us are always good. Hey, that's great. But I still don't know the answer to the question. Why did God make me? Maybe Guy the Bible Guy can help. That's a great idea. I'm gonna go ask him. See ya, Shine. See ya, Emily. Come on. <laughs> Come in! Hi, Guy. Hi, Emily. Hi, friends. I was hoping you could help me answer a question. Why did God make me? God has good plans for me. <laughs> hey, that's what Shine said. Well, Shine is one very bright star. <laughs> <laughs> but... I don't know what God's plan even means. God's plans are the good things he wants you to do. And his plans for everyone who loves and follows Jesus are always good. I do that, guy. I really try to love and follow Jesus every day. That's great. You can be sure that God has good plans for all your days. <laughs> all your days? I have a picture pass about that. Friends. Which picture pass helps you count the days? Way to go, friends! It's the calendar. <laughs> the calendar shows us every day that's coming. That's right, and God has a plan for every day. We don't know what will happen, but God knows, and his plans for us are so good. <laughs> hey, do you know a Bible verse about that? Sure do. <laughs> Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn a verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? Okay, listen to what God says in the Bible. Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good. So good, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, say the verse with me. Jeremiah 29, 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans. I know the plans. I have for you. I have for you. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. They are plans for good. So good, so good. They are plans for good. So good, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, that's it. Now say the whole verse with us. Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good. So good, so good. <laughs> friends, great job. <laughs> Thanks for the verse. Bye, guys. Bye, Emily. Bye, friends. Come on. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> la, 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 la. A do, 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 do. Oh, hi, Zinnia. Hey, you have your backpack. That can only mean one thing. Oh, yeah? What's that? You have somewhere to go and something to do. <laughs> You're right about that. Well, you don't seem very happy about it. I'm not. <laughs> I can't stay with my mommy and daddy right now, so I have to go stay with my Aunt Petunia. That doesn't sound so bad. But... I've never stayed with my Aunt Petunia. What if she's mean to me? And who will I play with? Blinky, I'm scared. You don't have to be afraid, Zinnia. 
God has super de duper good plans for us. But this doesn't seem good at all. God's plans are always good, even when things don't seem very good. Hmm. I don't know about that. Xenia, remember when you were afraid of the dark and you trusted God? <gasps> I do remember. After that, I never needed a nightlight again. That's because you knew God was with you then. And he's with you now. And he has good plans for me. <laughs> Blinky, will you pray for me so I never forget that ever again? You bet I will. Dear God, please help Zinnia and all of us remember that your plans for us are good, no matter what. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Okay, well, I'm off to do the good things God has planned for me. I'll miss you, Zinnia, but I'll see you when you get back, and I know God is with you. <laughs> Thanks, Blinky. Friends forever? Friends forever! High five! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> See you soon! Okay, bye! <laughs> hey friends! I'm so glad Guy figured out the answer to the question. Why did God make me? Friends, say the answer with me. God has Good plans for me. <laughs> the calendar shows us that God has good plans for us every day. I want to do the good things God has planned for me because his plans are good. It's like our Bible verse says, Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good. So good, so good. <laughs> Do you hear that? You know what that means. Mr. Music must have a song for us. Come on, let's go. Oh, hi, Emily. Hi, friends. Hi, Mr. Music. Do you know the answer to the question, why did God make me? God has... Good plans for me. Yeah, that's right. God has a plan for everything he made. That includes all of us. God made you and me and flowers and trees. <laughs> Wait, I have a picture pass about that. Friends, which picture pass can you find outside? It has leaves on it. That's right, friends. It's the tree. <laughs> Mr. Music, what plans does God have for a tree? Hmm. What good things did God make trees to do? Well, trees give us shade from the sun. And they make nuts and fruit for the animals to eat. That's right. And for us, too. I love eating the fruit that grows on trees, like apples and oranges. Oh, and bananas and peaches. Oh, I'm so glad that God has plans for trees. And God has a plan for you, too. And his plans are always good. <laughs> do you know a song about that? I do. Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing a song with me. I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? Okay, let's start with the part that we sing together. Okay. It goes like this. When God leads me somewhere new, He has good things for me to do. Sing it with me. <laughs> when God leads me somewhere new, He has good things for me to do. <laughs> Let's sing the whole song together. Okay, friends, sing with me. Here we go. 
God has a plan. God has a plan. A plan for me. A plan for me. A plan for you. A plan for you. We, we know it's true. His plans are good. His plans are good. All the time. All the time. No matter what. No matter what. So, so we, we can trust in him. Singing la 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 la. La 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 la. When God leads me somewhere new. He has good things for me to do. Yeah. When God leads me somewhere new. Has good things for me to do. God has a plan. God has a plan. A plan for me. A plan for me. A plan for you. A plan for you. We know it's true. His plans are good. His plans are good. All the time. All the time. No matter what. No matter what. So, so we can trust in Him. Singing la 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 la. La la. good things for me to do again when god leads me somewhere new he has good things for me to do yeah <laughs> he has good things for me to do he has good things for me to do <laughs> you guys sound great now stand up on your feet to worship God with music, singing, and dancing. Father God, I am yours. Every day I will say, Father God, I am yours. I am a child of God. Cheer me up when I am sad. Make me smile when I am mad Every day you make me glad I am a child of God Father God, I am yours Every day I will say Father God, I am yours I am a child of God Cheer me up when I am sad Make me smile when I am child of God. You cheer me up when I am sad. You make me smile when I am mad. Every day you make me glad. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. So mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. He made the trees, He made the seas, He made the elephants too. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do.
is shine. Friends, do you hear that star? <gasps> shine, there you are. We've had so much fun on our Bible adventure. Did you find the answer to the question, why did God make me? Yup, yup, yuppers. Friends, say it with me. God has good plans for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And what Bible verse did Guy teach you? Friends, let's say it for shine. Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good. So good, so good. <laughs> God's plans are good. What did you find out about the picture passes? <gasps> the calendar lets me know that God has good things for me to do every day. Every day is part of God's good plan. And the tree reminds me that God has a plan for everything he made. Even the trees. Even me. <laughs> and God's plans are always good. Oh, but I still don't know about the backpack. The backpack is something you carry with you when you have somewhere to go and something to do. Shine! That's it! God has good plans for me. When he leads me somewhere new, he has good things for me to do. <laughs> Whee! Now let's pray for our friends so they will know God has good plans for them too. Okay, friends, bow your heads and close your eyes. We're gonna talk to God together. Dear God, thank you for planning good things for us to do. Help us to love and follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <gasps> Pandas and popsicles, it's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye-bye, friends. <laughs> friends, raise your hand if you had so much fun on our Bible adventure. My hand is up. Is yours? Yay. Now, we get to do picture passes. What's this? That's it. It's my adventure bag. Let's put our adventure bags on together. You ready? Okay, one, two, three, whoosh. <laughs> Good job, friends. Okay, what do you think is in here? Is there a bunch of strawberries? No, that would be yummy, but that's not in here. How about an elephant? No, that's silly, an elephant would never fit in here. What's in here, friends? You guys are so smart. I do have picture passes in here. Are you ready to see which one I pull out first? <laughs> Yay, okay. Mm. Friends, what is this? It's the tree. Say this with me. God's plans are good. God's plans are good. <laughs> awesome job. Now, God has a lot of good plans for each of us. What good plans do you think that God has for you? Wow, you guys have a lot of fantastic ideas about God's good plans for you. All right, are you ready for the next picture pass? Okay, here we go. Which one is this? It's the calendar. Can you say, God plans every day? Nice work. Now, think about this. Who is always with us on the good days and the bad days? Hmm. God is. He's always with us when our day feels good and when our day feels bad. Now, I only have one more picture pass. Show me the number one. That's it. Okay, here it comes. What's this? It's the backpack. Can you say, God's got new things for me to do? I'll help you. God's got new things for me to do. Yeah, you sounded great. So friends, 
When God takes you somewhere new, what kind of plans does he have for you? <laughs> Friends, I'm so proud of you. God has good plans for you in all the new places that he takes you. And you know what? All those picture passes remind me that God has good plans for me. So say this with me. God has good plans for me. God has good plans for me. Awesome job, friends. If you had so much fun learning about God with me, you can keep on learning about him every day in the Bible. Ask your parents to look for plans for kids in the YouVersion Bible app to find a plan that's just right for your family. And there's a link in the description. Now there are gonna be some questions that come up on the screen and you can talk about God's good plans for trees and God's good plan for you. I hope that your whole family has a great week and I'll see you really soon. Goodbye. Thank you guys for joining us for our online kids services today. We hope you enjoyed worshiping together and hearing that special story about Jesus. Parents, there's going to be some questions that pop up on the screen. Just take some time and discuss those with your children and see what they learned in their story this week. We love all of you guys. We've missed you. We hope to see you soon, and I hope that you have a good rest of your day.